Okay, let's see what we got here today. <sighs> we have uh, Furniture Optical Illusions by Zach King. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to the man, the myth, the legend, Zach King. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go and check out his channel as well. And let's get straight into this video. All right. Put the headphones on. And let's go. Make sure everything's recording properly. And it is. All right. And let's go. Hey, everybody. I've got some exciting hey. optical illusions to go over with you today. You need to pay very close attention. All right. Your all eyes right. You're going to be trying to play. I will try to pick up everything I can. Everything. Let's see. Tricks on your mind. And if you do focus well, you actually might be able to pick up on some of these illusions before I reveal them to you. What? Okay. I... <sighs> My eyes are already going funny, but this sure. This furniture illusions. All right. The reason I love optical illusions so much is because uh -huh. they play such uh -huh. crazy mind tricks on you. Take this chair, for example. Looks like your ordinary chair, except when I sit on it, the illusion what? is broken. What? And you realize that wait, the wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. Perfect angle to make that one illusion work. Uh, but in reality, it didn't pause in time. And we've even had to curve the wood and mesh it in a way that, again, it's all about perspective from right over there. Okay. So, this next illusion, I'm going to show you how to make a floating, <laughs> right. levitating chair. And this is the perfect time to tell you about our sponsor, Ashley Home Store. Thank you for powering the magic in this video. And no, thank you. Reality app, actually. Thank. That works to preview the furniture. So I'm going to click the right. AR button. Let me just skip over this part, cause, uh, Zach. I'm going to show you how to make this thing float. So this is the chair. All right. For the levitation. First, I got to remove the leg. He's about to teach us how to levitate. Keep your eyes peeled. Legs. Uh huh. Uh huh. So now that I've got the legs removed from the chair, uh huh. I'm gonna set it down in the middle of the room, and now, I've got a levitating chair. What? This man. How does this guy do it? Like. I don't understand. How does this guy do it? It he makes it look so simple. I just oh, whatever. I guess Zach King just knows how to just knows how. I guess like what? Oh, a mirror and some boxes. <laughs> but okay, still a pretty cool illusion. Oh really? <laughs> I literally thought. That it he placed it like farther behind it. Oh my god. So this uh -huh. next illusion is created by a designer named Vivian Chow. And okay. I absolutely love this piece. I call it the infinity illusion. And you might be wondering what kind of furniture it is. Uh-huh. You want to take a guess? What? Now if you guessed a chair, you'd be correct, but it's actually eleven chairs. Get this. Each piece Oh, from the that is so sick. I ain't gonna lie. Smallest miniature chair all the way to the last chair, which is the 11th. That is now, so cool. Illusion, we need to lose the light. Oh, sweet. So all we're right. in this darker room to show off this next illusion with the three chairs. I want you to try to spot the difference between one of these chairs. One is not like the other. We have the green chair, the blue chair, and the red. All right, which one are you guys choosing? I am gonna choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose the green one. Got your selection. I'm gonna reveal. Yes. Three, two, one. So the blue chair. If you watch it very closely. Oh whoa! Right now it's doing this weird, like trippy, following the camera motion wherever it goes, and the reason it's doing that is because it's 3D printed and engineered in a way that it's actually pointing the opposite direction. Whoa! So the illusion doesn't break apart until. You get to see the other sides. Trippy, huh? Let's move on to the next illusion. Bro, my eyes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite illusions. It's called an anamorphic illusion. All right. Oh, I think I've seen these before. Yeah. Around. It's one that comes alive when you line up the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? 
huh? Man went like this, started pinning backwards, right? Or starting to reverse, as you could say. And then he just stood on the painting. Explain. This is called the three-legged bar stool, and it's originally designed by a guy. It has has like a peg in the middle. Josh Carmody out of Melbourne, Australia. Or am I just seeing things? It looks like a three-legged bar stool, right? But when I put my hand through here, it does this weird thing where the reason. Yeah, I got it right. Got a fourth leg right here. Let's go. It's all about the design from the perfect perspective. Uh huh. So, huh? I hope you guys enjoyed Furniture Illusions, and if you did, you can subscribe right there. What? Two other videos right here. Also, big thanks to my buddy Chris Tomes for building these illusions for us. See ya. What? Huh? Huh? What? No. I need more. Well then. I did not expect any of that, so... <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Go check out Zach King's channel if you haven't already. And if you don't know who he is, as we can see, that is who he is. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.